Zenith Aircraft Factory with the Zenith Stoll CH701 and Roger Dubert. And we're going to have a look at the landing gear system on the Stoll CH701. During your pre-flight inspection, you want to check and make sure your, your main gear is snug to the fuselage. The best way to check that is to put your foot on the tire, grab the struts, and rock your gear. If you notice, the gear is rocking. Now we, we loosened the, the gear just for this demonstration purposes here to kind of demonstrate the, the loose gear that is rocking, which is not the way we, it should be. And uh, doing it from the back side as well as from the front side uh, in pre-flighting is a good idea to make sure that the gear is nice and tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten the two nuts on the gear strut fitting, work them up evenly. And if you notice the gear plate and the gear strut fitting, you want to, you don't want to bottom out the gear plate. You want to have a small gap. If you have to bottom out, then you need to add some uh, rubber spacers to it. Or and the gear is equipped with these uh, polyurethane spacers. That's the orange pieces we see on the top gear and the bottom gear, and then uh, it gets sandwiched uh, between the spacers and tightened on this way. And so we want to tighten it, but uh, like Roger said, not too tight. We don't want to bottom out, nor do we want to uh, over torque them. Exactly, and there is no torque spec for it. And when you start over, over tightening the nut, you'll notice that the skins might start bucking a little bit, and then you could actually uh, shear the bolts off too. So it's just basically you want to make sure the gear is ni nice and snug to the fuselage. Now see, we're trying to move it again. And now we see no rocking or no movement here at all. Let's go try it from the front side too, Roger. And it's a good idea when you're taxiing to maybe touch the brakes as you're looking outside at the gear to make sure it's still not rocking. Yeah, it's very, very solid, secure. You know, the Stoll CH71 gear, it's an outstanding little gear, really optimized for off-airport operation. So with the rubbers in there properly and the double cantilever spring gear, you get really good spring action, but it's important that you do pre-flight it properly. And so before every flight, both sides, good idea to, to uh, hold on to that strut and do a quick pre-flight on it that way. either has rubber spacers as a gear to protect the gear or we are using these polyurethane rubber pads now. We've been supplying these for about uh, 10 years. Um, a lot of 701 builders out there have rubber tire sidewalls as their spacers. They're fine except uh, they do slide out and they do wear quite uh, quickly. Um, I would recommend uh, changing to the new polyurethane spacers. Uh, when you receive your spacers, you will have to notch them out for the gear strut bolts so the spacers will not slip out when the gear is flexing on landing. And those are available uh, from Zenith Aircraft Company. Uh, I believe there's also a good drawing that shows the installation as well, correct? There is, yes. Mm -hmm.